Welcome back. It's TVU's Most Wanted. We got him awake now. Alive and awake. It's Jeremy from Abandoned Kansas. I'm having trouble seeing you because of these yellow lenses. Sorry. Those are pretty sweet. No. You know what's funny? The first time that Abandoned Kansas was on TVU's Most Wanted, I'm pretty sure you were wearing those glasses and you had a huge beard. Yeah, I was trying my first beard. This is my second attempt. I'm still not into it. How long has it been, how long has it been going? Uh, I guess I'm at right a month now, like second, second, well, yeah, I'm okay. right at a month. So you started like in the middle of, or endish of November, and you're yeah. about a month then yeah. now. Yeah. I like it, man. You know, have you been trimming your mustache, though? Because it no. looks like no, your mustache I, is less full. Sometimes I'll bite it off. <laughs> That's really gross. Yeah. You know, Sorry. I I participated in No <laughs> Shave really November. I don't really bite it off. Yes, yeah, you no, do. Yes, you do. Oh no. I participated in No Shave November this year. Okay. How'd it, it go? Was, it was You're awful. still participating. It was awful. Yeah, it, pretty much. Is it just right? like random dirt patches on your? Where people like, dude, something, something's here. No joke. I was going for the uh, the Jeremy Spring stash. Okay. And about 20% of the hairs on my face were like, let's do this. And the other 80% were like, like, nah, mm, maybe next not year. Not so much. Oh, not so much. I'm sorry. So, man, you got the beard going on, yeah. and then you look down and you're rocking jeans with holes in the knees. I know, it's like I shop at Hollister or something. <laughs> nope, they just blew out. I need to buy some new ones. Good. Th it's good, though, because you didn't buy jeans with holes in them. No, I didn't do that. Yeah. I, I, saw I don't buy them with the carpenter hook anymore either. <laughs> Do you remember that? Dude, that's going to come back. I used to have a pair of pants with the cargo and the yes. carpenter. In case you ever need to carry I around a hammer. I wasn't building anything. <laughs> Nobody was, but we were all wearing I wasn't them. building anything but walls with the fashion world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Be careful, though, because those are going to come back. I mean, you're wearing a crew neck sweatshirt right now. No, they're not coming back. You never know, man. They're not coming back. So is that the breaking point for you? That if those come the, back, you will not be fashion forward. That was the uh, disco of the early 2000s, you know? <laughs> Just like dubstep is the disco of now. I, I uh, have decided. We're not coming back. I have decided. We'll laugh about it. If, if fashion ever comes back with the fanny pack, I'm done. I yeah. won't do it. Like, at that point, I won't be fashion forward. Are you saying the carpenter jeans are that for you? Yes. If they really do come that back, like in style, you'd be like, all right, I'm just not going to be in style anymore. I'm not going with that. Yep, I'm out. I'm going to hold you to that. OK. I hope fanny packs come back. <laughs> this guy is never going to wear carpenter jeans. I'm going to buy you a pair of carpenter jeans okay. for your birthday. When's your birthday? Carpenter jeans. Good night. Uh, June 5th, please send me a pair of carpenter jeans. That's happening. Multiple colors. Dude, count on it. Khakis, Write it down. Everything. You yeah. heard it here. I'm sending him carpenter jeans June 5th for his Great. birthday. More with Jeremy coming up. Steve Hughes Most Wanted. That's number seven. It's TVU's Most Wanted. One of my favorite people in the whole world joining me on the Aww. show. First show of the new year, and we got Jeremy Spring here from Abandoned Kansas. Here we are, 2013. Kansas. We made it through the, uh, we did. the end of the world. Yeah. We're here on the other side, and it feels good. The Mayans were wrong. Yeah, don't say that out loud, man. What if, this is, what if it is the end of the world, and this is like video evidence, and it's left? Wow. Whoa. Or maybe they were just off by a few weeks, and like nice. next week. So we're over here laughing. It's January 21st. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Boom. <laughs> Game over. Yeah. All right, Jeremy, you're out on the, uh, the living room tour right yeah. now. This is the fourth rendition it of this tour? It is the fourth, and it gets longer every year, so really <laughs> it's like the tenth, yeah. That's a good thing, though, right? Because yeah, that means people no, are booking a, shows. It's a beautiful tour, man. It's, uh, the guys are coming out with me on this leg. Okay. And it's not just me. Okay. It's a lot easier to tackle somebody's house with more than just myself. You Why know? is that? Well, because you're meeting people's pets, and you're meeting people's grandmas, and you're eating people's food, and you're asking where the bathroom is, and you're, you just want any bit of privacy. And, and, it, <laughs> it, and it's fine that, you know, I'm not picking on anyone, just the logistics of the tour if I want to step out and make a phone call. Nobody wants to book an artist in their house and see them on their phone. Right. But when we have a, you know, I get behind on my inbox, I get behind on this, and it, it's just a lot to juggle by myself. I'm trying to be Mr. Social, and I don't sleep. So, it's like going to a party when you don't know anybody and you're the only one it's there. Like, it's seriously like going to an open house graduation party um, for, for, with a bunch of strangers every night. Right. It's just eventually you're like, so you need, hi. So having your band on this it, is like it's security. Just easier to, it's, it's, it's some comfort for me. Uh, yeah. It, it, I mean, way easier to hang out. Sure. When there's three of you to tell a story, kind of tag team. You know. Sure. Yeah. It's just more fun. And the actual set is, is better and more fun. And, 
So oh, for yeah. the last couple of years, you've done just you, yeah. you and an acoustic guitar. And yeah, is this I the first get, year? Yeah, of doing I had to the get band? the guys out there because it, it's such a good tour, and they don't believe me. I don't think. <laughs> You what know, makes you think they don't believe well, you? Well, just because I'll come home with like really good merch sales are really good, and I'm like, yeah, there were like 50 people in there, and they're thinking, last time we played that city, there weren't even 50 people at the show, <laughs> you know. So, and I get it. So I wanted to bring them out, and they get to spend some quality time with our fan base and actually get to know them. I think a lot of times my band feels like I know our fan base and not them. And sure. It's, and, you know, I'm out there in their houses hanging out, like. How does the set change when you bring your whole band out? It's not just you. Are they, yeah, I mean, I take I it mean bring Brian plays too, percussion, right? and then Brad still plays electric, but just sort of a different approach. Okay. And then Nick still plays electric bass. and um, Yeah, they're just stripped down. Some of them are totally different arrangements. Some of them are just kind of like a watered-down version of the same tie. And then we're playing a bunch of new stuff, too. That's cool. Trying to and you, demo, you... demo out some of the new songs, just get people uh, interested in what we're doing next. Right. And you guys have booked out this whole tour, like this, you said, they're getting longer. Like you yeah. literally don't have any openings. Like you're booked. No, we had to day take to more than I planned on. But really? Yeah. Yeah. That's great, man. That's really good. It is a good problem. Yeah. So hopefully you get to see one of these shows. It sounds like it's going to be a good. Yeah, most of them are open to the public. So I, I mean, I, it's a lot to ask people to do. To come out to a stranger's house, knock on the door. <laughs> but it happens, I take it. And they, people are brave enough to do it, and they're always glad they did. So I would encourage people to come out. Yeah. Sure. Right on. More with Jeremy from a band in Kansas coming up. Stevie U's most wanted. Let's talk about Turn It to Gold. You were telling me you have some plans. Uh, tell me about what's coming up. Uh, yeah, Turn It to Gold. I mean, we put it out this year, and it was close to the Olympics, but uh, it wasn't really a part of the Olympics or anything. The whole song is sort of about um, just redemption, you know, like uh, taking something that's a mess and making it beautiful, making it, um, you know, in a broad sense, it's like our lives, making a, a, leaving a legacy that will, like, outlive us and, and will impact sort of our world around us and make it something valuable even though we're definitely a mess sometimes so um, I think we're gonna we haven't really figured out how we're gonna do this yet but we'd like to challenge our fan base um, to turn something to gold in their community and I don't mean buy a bottle of spray paint and go tag a, <laughs> to go tag the rival high school um, I mean like the old lady down the street whose yard is just full of tall grass and weeds and leaves and go and like take a before picture clean it all up, take an after picture, you know, turn cool. it to gold. It could be something as simple as, as cleaning out and just actually doing the chores your mom asked you to do, or maybe it's a full-on service project where you paint something or tear something down or rebuild something or make a garden or, you know, we want to leave it pretty, like, up to the, your, their interpretation. And then we'll challenge them to uh, post the videos and, and eventually would like to pick some of our favorites and go visit and maybe follow it up with some more community service. And I don't know, we just want to find a way to impact um, the community with our music and it, it seems like you have to get creative with that and make it fun for people but sure um, it'd be cool with just the the uh, concept of the song I think it could really resonate with people so. sure that's really cool now what kind of spurred this idea what brought this idea on were you just thinking about the song one day and you yeah, saw some like we trash on the side of the road and you're like let's do this well we were thinking of, when we were putting out the song we were doing those funny videos around the house right right and we were Brad was talking about we have when we moved into this we got a house together this year Right. So we all live together, and there's this basketball goal that's like face down and turned over, and, and we don't use it. Um, and Brad was going to take it and turn it into some sort of piece um, about his mission trip to India and then sell it and auction right. that off. So that was sort of spurred the idea of like taking trash, taking an area that needs fixed up, and like turning it into something that's art or something cool. that's beautiful. So I guess the challenge won't just be like, cleaning stuff up, but actually turning it into something, you know, that that's better than what it was before. Sure. Um, and it, yeah, it was kind of spurred out of that idea. So, so if people want to get details, this is a forthcoming project, kind yeah, of a brainchild honestly, right now. Honestly, even if people have ideas, I mean, we're here early in the year, we'd like to launch this when it gets warm, you know, March or April when it's okay. spring. And so if you guys have ideas, shoot me an email or, or hit us up on Facebook or something and maybe we can brainstorm ways that we could like, do it together because it's going to be pretty grassroots style. I mean, it, you know, it's not going to be some national campaign. It's just something we want to challenge our fan base to do. So cool. Should be cool. Cool. Again, if you want details, you can link up at tvulive.com. And like you said, hit him up on Facebook, send him an email. He will be performing acoustic for us coming up. All right. Whether he likes it or not, it's happening. So stick around for that. It's TVU's Most Wanted. You know what's awesome? I just found out there's a Cheerio inside that guitar. Yes, there is a Cheerio. The guy that I borrowed this guitar <laughs> from 
has like a two-year-old son. And I guess <laughs> the first time he interacted with the guitar while dad was playing, he came up and dropped the Cheerio. So he was like, no matter what you do, don't lose that Cheerio. Really? So if I bring this guitar, there's no way I'm bringing this guitar back without the Cheerio. <laughs> I'll just buy another Cheerio. I was going to say, I'm going to be honest, it'd be easy to... single Cheerios? I don't know, but you could buy a box yeah. and just throw one in there. Uh, does, that change the di does that change the dynamic of the sound? Huge intonation difference, <laughs> but I'll bear with it. No, it doesn't do <laughs> Oh, man. All right, well, dude, it's been a good time. Before we let you go, though, why don't you tell me what's coming up for Abandoned Cans? You guys are on the living room up. tour it's right now. It's time for a record, yeah. Uh, as soon as we're done with the living room tour, we're going to go away for a while. Okay. And go, we've written... I don't know, 15, 16 songs for the ne next record, but we want to write a good five or 10 more and have a huge batch to choose from. Um, we put Ad Astra a year and a half ago, um, and then we did some singles and kind of stretched out into some different sounds, but now we're gonna go back into the studio and make a record that we love and um, try to have something out by the spring. That's Whether it's a, a, a preview, leak a few songs or whatever, I, can't, I don't know details. That sounds amazing. We got to make a record first, but it's definitely coming. So. Okay. So what? Like you said, you want to do that. You're gonna go for, go away for the while. What's the What's the timeline look? What's recording look like for abandoned Kansas? Well, How this long living room tour is just taking everything. You right. Know, so that all December and January, we got to finish writing in February. But okay. we won't be doing any tour dates. Hopefully in the studio in March. Okay. And have something out this spring, and then maybe a full length coming later. Cool. You know, in the summer, in the fall, and I, I don't, I don't, I'm not making any promises scheduling wise, but I do know that we're in a spot where we, I mean, we've got to move forward creatively and just everything. We're gonna try some new stuff. Really? And uh, and it's not gonna necessarily be the direction. I know it's not gonna be the direction of the two singles we put out this year. Okay. But it's not gonna be Ad Astra either. Um, we're going to be going, to, we're going to try to completely destroy what we've done and, and move forward, artistically speaking. Right. Not like we're not going to set our old records on fire or something. <laughs> um, we're just at a, we've been a band for seven years and we got to turn around and, and do the record we want to make. Right. Um, and so we're hand picking a team and, and going to go in and make an album that we love and uh, see if people get it. I'm excited. I'm always down for new music from a band in Kansas. Thanks, man. Thanks for performing, dude. Yeah. And no good problem. luck on the rest of the uh, the tour, the living room tour. It's been great. I'm sure it will be. If you want to get a chance to check that out, if you want to see one of the remaining dates, you can link up to their website or their Facebook at tvulive.com. Here's number one. We will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.